Hey, Chris Lipe here with How to Sing Scream. What exactly is sing screaming? Well, one of the best examples and one of the easiest to hear is a note like Chris Cornell's Cochise, that really long scream he does. great example and slightly different of this technique is by a guy who I've personally worked with, Spencer Satello from the band Periphery. So I was saying you and and the mind, the ancient tribe. There you go. We are the body and the mind. Much better, much much better. <laughs> That's a challenging line. That is one of the hardest styles of of singing. It's a delicate balance between singing with distortion, which I've talked about a lot on this channel, and full out false chord engagement where you have no note at all, which I've also talked about quite a bit, but it's a blend of the two. You can hear both with the Chris Cornell scream and in the die section of the of Crush, the periphery song, there's definite pitch. So we're gonna use both of these as a way to help train this scream sing approach into your voice. And if you'd like to go deeper with these approaches, I've done a full course with Periphery's Spencer Sotelo, and I've done a free warm-ups course with Spencer as well. Click the links below and check those out if you want to go way deeper with your own screaming, sing screaming, aggressive vocals, and recording and production. With that Cochise note, we've got a B. That's the fundamental pitch. Thang! You can sing that in head voice. Thang! You can sing it in mix. Thang! which I've also talked about on the channel, or you can lower it and sing it in a regular chest note if you can't hit that note. That's okay. But I'm going to stick with the B, and I'm going to do it light and free. Thang! You don't feel a thing! Then I'm going to add compression, lifting something heavy. This is going to mean I can sing with distortion. Thang! Thang! Like that, and I'm just doing it over that B. Thang! That's cool sounding, but it's not that screamy, you know, ugh, sound, right? You don't feel a thing! That actually sounds very Cornelian, also, but it's not what he's doing there. We have to then. After adding the compression, we have to let our voice fall apart. So we're combining two techniques that I've talked about a lot on the channel. Thang! Thang! Compress it. Keep that compression going as we let our voice crack. This is why it's important that we choose a note when we're working this in that is on the edge, the upper edge of our chest voice so that it's easy to find our vocal break. Thang! Now we have to keep that compression going. Thang! Ah, you hear how I've lost the pitch a little bit, but you hear how I've I've got that real gruff sound. That's the false chord engagement in a in a more uh, concentrated way, and that vocal break is allowing air to pass through and my false chords to catch them, catch the sound or the 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 air, so that. Uh, I have that more brash sound. So your false chords are bearing the brunt of the uh, of the airflow there instead of your regular chords. And it's finding this balance between holding back air with your false chords uh, and then letting your primary chords temporarily disengage through that vocal break so you can find that sweet spot. Duh! You don't feel a thing! You don't feel a thing! You still hear the note, right? Yeah, oh, let me slow it down for you. You don't feel a thing! 
Now I've dialed that particular uh, area of my voice in and blended those two. And you can hear the pitch. You can hear the extreme false chord engagement there. This is a sing screaming. Now, sometimes we don't hear this right away when we're listening to a scream. And this is the case with the, the Spencer thing. We are the is what he's doing it's it's a little higher it's there part of what makes these screams even though they're not focused on the pitch so engaging is that they are sung screams there's notes in them if, if it's just a completely removed note there isn't this tonality that gives the voice true character and if you listen to this again Use the singing with distortion at the beginning here and then let it fall apart. We are the body! Then, and the mind! Make that a target note, but but work on the compression and the cracking at the same time. And we're going to start with this pitch level thing too. We are the body! And the mind! Go there first. Compressed high note. And the mind! There it is. You hear how the note is taking a huge back seat, but it's there and it creates this wonderful musical scream. There is sing screaming. So here are the steps again. Find a note. It can be one of these notes that we've been talking about. Add compression. Hey, lift something heavy. And then while you're still compressing and putting this support in. And if you don't understand how to use your support right, you're not going to be able to do this. I've got a free course that explains how to dial your support in. I've left that in the, the uh, link description below as well. But if we've got, hey, as I continue to compress, that note remains. Let yourself crack and dial it in as you're feeling this out. Hey, this is a note and it doesn't hurt at all. See, I'm able to bring the pitch up there. I've got that coordination balance and I can do a lot of that once I find that balance between compression and letting your, letting your voice fall apart around your vocal break, engaging your false chords in a slightly different way. Let me demonstrate a little bit more. Hey, hey, compress, compress. The compression actually helps you dial this in quicker. Hey, yay! Really a neat sing scream texture. I'm going to loosely work over the instrumental of the periphery song Crush with that line here a bit more. And <laughs> you can you you heard Spencer coaching me through it at the beginning. I've since gotten better with it. What a phenomenal song and vocalist. Again, if you'd like to check out more of the work that we've done together, I have a free course with that, that I've done with Spencer, and I have a big full-blown recording, production, singing, screaming course. All that information is left in the uh, description below. Thanks so much for watching. Work some of these things into your voice and leave some comments. Let me know how they're helping you. We'll see you for more.